I'm literally the dumbest person in the entire world. The Nissan Z is stuck in the snow again. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's Don't give me that look, self, okay? It's, it's because out. I was on a rush to get to the airport to pick you up. I got it stuck in the snow. Now, Sophia just came up with quite possibly the most brilliant idea is I've ever brilliant? heard. It, it is. Yes, it is. It is so smart. This is not my idea. I'm also not going to take credit if it works. However, if it doesn't work, I am going to make fun of you. It's all me. Yeah. Responsible. Is that what you Did just I said? Say? You said responsible. <laughs> Pan, responsible. responsible. An adult, an adult. Welcome to America. <laughs> the science experience is amazing. This is not sick. You're gonna spill all of that everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, that was user error. You burn. <laughs> we have officially peaked as far as intelligence. Let's go. That's gonna. It's totally gonna work. Yep, 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 yep. Science, baby. No. Brace myself in prime position. Oh my gosh, I hate this car. It's so bad in the snow. Get any traction of any kind. I'm going back and forth trying to decide if I even want to include this in the video, but I don't know what we're doing wrong. We can't tow the car. That's the problem. Tell, tell the viewers no, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can tow on the sway bar. We could remove a front bumper, but we're not going to do that. That's way too much work. We could just leave this out until June or July and then we'll be fine. The sun is also coming out. It's going to warm up later on in the day. Now we can't tow the Z out from the back end because there's no tow hook back here whatsoever. We could mount up to like a control arm underneath the car, but that seems kind of sort of sketchy. We would put wood under the rear tires, but we don't have wood, so we're not going to drive to Home Depot to do that because we got boiling. We got steaming hot water. You know what you need? What? Salt. Salt. We yeah. should buy you salt. We should get salt. <laughs> Next video. Come and turn to the left a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. We listened to you guys and we got ourselves some wood. This should solve all the issues. Okay, so on the count of three, you gotta go full send. You're gonna lose traction. Full send. Yeah, full send, full send. I mean like half a send, like kind of like three quarters of a send. Full send, but don't hit the side of the house. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 let's go. Yes, 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 yes. I messed up. I was holding the camera. That way, we're good. No, we're almost in. We're so close. Are you kidding me? What? What? What happened? That's some kind of crazy Sophia magic. What? What? I turned away for two seconds and immediately the car is in the garage. I wasn't even looking. What'd you do? I have no idea what happened there. Wow, that <laughs> Sophia touch. Do you want to park it next to the 812? Good, you're good. Yep, you got more, you got more, you got more. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't even want to know how long that just took us. And as Sophia just said, you want to know where this car is staying all winter? Right here. She ain't moving. This is it. Like, it is over. Game over. This car, I don't know what it is about it. Rear wheel drive, the tires are awful. Never again. Summer tires, that's a problem. Nah, nah. Koenigsegg's got summer <laughs> tires, is she good? Well, speaking of the Koenigsegg, we have some very exciting news out of the state of New Jersey. We have the 30 day non-resident temporary plate. Now the reason it's out of Jersey, the leasing company is based in New Jersey. We got to register the car in Utah, which means this car needs to be Utah emissions compliant. We got to pass emissions on this car. Assuming we pass, we then can register the car, which means we then get to pay Utah sales tax of 7.25%. $2.7 million car, 7.25%. That is approximately $195,000 in sales tax on a car. On that bombshell, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Private Auto. Now, next time I sell a car, whether it's the Koenigsegg, the Nissan Z, I will 100% use Private Auto. Think of Private Auto as a combination of Facebook Marketplace, except without all the scammers, and Venmo, except there's no limit. Private Auto has tons of cars listed available for sale. And with Private Auto, you're going to get a free vehicle history report on every single listing. You can also get a free vehicle valuation. So when you're trying to sell your car in private auto, you can properly value your car. There's also secure messaging. So when you're talking to prospective buyers, they're not getting your contact information. Private auto is the only way to 100% securely transfer funds in excess of $10,000 in parking lots during evenings, during the holidays, or on the weekends. And on private auto, every single user is verified by contact information as well as driver's license. Private auto is transactional by nature. This means you can complete every step along the way on the private auto app. Both buyer and seller can e-sign bill of sales. You can move money instantly between buyer and seller. There's no transaction fee and you can move an unlimited amount of money. I could sell my Koenigsegg Aguera for $2.7 million on private auto securely with no transaction fee and the money could be moved from buyer to seller 
instantly. Now check out the link in the description below to Private Auto. Next time you're buying a car or you're selling a car, you have to check out Private Auto. It is the safest, most secure way to buy and sell a car privately. And using my code STRAD, using my special link in the description below, you can actually list your car for free on privateauto.com. That's right, using my code STRAD, you can list your car for free. Check out the link in the description below. The engine bay on this car is so crazy good, the New Jersey Temp Tag is mounted in place. <laughs> I just realized we have 9,999 miles on the Agari HA. Someday, one day, mark my words, this will be the highest mileage counting seg in the entire world. Pay for it, pay for it. 10,000 miles. So we're headed off to Grease Monkey right now. We have to become emissions compliant. Very, very important. Last time I drove this car, I gotta be honest with you guys, I was kind of sort of riding dirty. I didn't have a license plate. We are insured. We're gonna get emissions done today and then registration and then sales tax. Oil changes and more AC service available. I wonder if I get an oil change on the Koenigsegg today. Obviously, we don't want to fall in the pit. Now, what do you think, Self? Do you think it will actually pass emissions? It has catalytic converters. We have no issues. I'm getting a 50-50 vibe here. The problem <laughs> is Koenigsegg is not in the system here at Grease Monkey, so. Another thing that's interesting, you see the emissions sticker right there, not for sale in states with California emission standards, leads me to believe that this car is not legal in the state of California. Now, the issue we're running into is Koenigsegg is not in the system. We're trying to manually get it entered in. So somewhere underneath, the steering wheel on the Koenigsegg is our OBD2 port. I don't think I can film it for you guys, but trust me, it's down there. <laughs> Go, yeah, we passed. Of course we passed. We're good. so easy. I know, so easy. We just had to plug it in. We got cats. We're totally good. It's like $30, or whatever. We're good. I have to admit that is a huge sigh of relief that this car passed emissions, no big deal. Because on a car like this, you just never know what's going to happen. Is the OBD2 port going to work? Is it not going to work? If it doesn't work, what do you do? A car like this being one of 58 in the entire world, you just never know. And that was easy. Well, we've run into our biggest issue of the day. The Nissan Altima just cut us off. But more importantly, it is raining in Utah. We have a thousand horsepower twin turbocharged V8. What is this guy doing? What is going? He's going to run it. He's definitely going to run it. Yep. Yep. All day. Every Altima. What is wrong with the Altimas and the Maximas, they're all wild and crazy and absolute lunatics. If you have an Altima or a Maxima and you're not a lunatic, I apologize, but you know it is what it is. And of course, welcome here to one of my favorite places in the entire world, obviously I'm being sarcastic, the Utah State Tax Commission Division of Motor Vehicles. Now, a couple videos back, I told you guys that I was leasing my Koenigsegg, and I'm doing that for primarily one reason. It is the tax advantages. 100% of my income is generated from social media, from YouTube, from TikTok, from Instagram, and because most of my vehicles are used 100% for business use, and I'm leasing this car, effectively, I'm renting this car, now my payment on this car is $35,600, and that is a massive, massive payment, and that is a massive Massive, massive write-off. Now there's one more advantage to leasing a car that I didn't mention to you guys, and that is sales tax. Now sales tax varies from state to state. If I lived in Beverly Hills, California, my sales tax rate would be nine and a half percent. If I lived in Missoula, Montana, it'd be zero percent. If I lived in Portland, Oregon, it would be zero percent. And that's because Oregon and Montana, neither of them have sales tax. That's why you see so many supercars registered in Montana. Doesn't mean they live in Montana, but they're registered there. That is a zero dollar sales tax bill. But because I live here in Salt Lake City, Utah, the sales tax rate is 7.25 percent. Now let's say, for example, I had paid $2.7 million for this car. I wasn't leasing it and I had bought it outright. I would be on the hook for a sales tax bill to the state of Utah for $195,000. And let's say in six months, I decide to sell the Koenigsegg. It's not like I get a refund. That money never comes back to me. That money is gone. You will never, ever, ever see that again. So like my Ferrari 812 Superfast, I paid $397,000 for that car. I paid sales tax on that car of around $30,000. That money's gone. But because I leased the Koenigsegg, I do not pay sales tax on the value of the car. I pay sales tax on the lease payment of the car. Now my lease payment is $35,600, 7.25%. Every single month, I have a sales tax due to the state of Utah for $2,500. And $61. Now, next month, I have the same bill month after month after month. So, over the course of a year, you're paying approximately $30,000 in sales tax. And so, if I keep this car for five, six, seven years, obviously, I'm going to end up paying that $195,000. But let's say in a year I sell this car, I will have written a check for $30,000 to the state of Utah, and I didn't write a check for $195,000. So, for someone like me, where I'm buying cars, I'm selling cars all the time, leasing a car makes so much more sense because you only pay sales tax 
on the lease payment. Today is actually Saturday, so the DMV is actually closed, so I can't actually register the car today. I can't pay sales tax. We got the emissions done today, but on Monday, I gotta come here, I gotta write a check for $2,500, and every single month that I lease this car, I owe them a check for $2,500. So they're gonna see a lot of me. I'm not looking forward to it, but they are. And I'd like to dedicate this to Sean to the Utah State Tax Commission and the governor of the state of Utah. Hey, if I gotta pay the tax, I better enjoy the car. Now, one of the key issues with the Koenigsegg is it gives you the absolute worst posture because the only way to see the stoplights, I gotta lean all the way back because this windshield is only like a foot tall because from my normal seating position, I can't see anything. So you literally come to the stoplights and just kind of sort of sit like this. Let's go, brother man, let's go. He didn't even notice. He didn't even see us. That was a first year guard. He didn't even notice us. Only in Utah are there horses in the middle of the road. Then we gotta drive by. We definitely don't want to spook them. Oh, I gotta no. back it in. We'll be fine. This is the Koenigsegg. I said this car in the snow is totally fine. We're in the exact same spot as the Nissan Z. However, it's raining now and a lot of snow is melted. We're gonna be fine. No, right. no, 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 no. I am fine. Famous last, Famous words. last words. We're yeah. fine. Don't worry about it. This this can't actually be real life. There's no way. How is this possible? She's legit stuck right here in the exact same spot to the Nissan Z. Where are you going? Boiling water? The horses are going crazy. Get boiling water. It worked last time. Shame on me. I'm an absolute nimwit. The car looks so good in the snow though. I just want to apologize to each and every single one of you guys. I've embarrassed myself, my reputation, which wasn't much to begin with. I've embarrassed my family name. I just thought it... <laughs> One of the most ironic parts about all of this, I have a snowplow arriving. It was supposed to arrive yesterday. It got delayed by a, a snowstorm in Colorado. It's arriving now on Monday. It's Saturday. I, I just want to point out, Sophia has been here in town in the United States for less than 24 hours. Your bags got lost by Delta, yep. and you dug out the Nissan Z, and you're now digging out the Koenigsegg. Why do you date me? It's Oscar. It's Oscar. <laughs> no, sorry, no, it makes sense. He's the floofiest marshmallow, cutest dog of all time, and his grooming appointment is in 20 minutes. Hey, that on camera! You're an optimist. I have a positive, positive attitude. That's right. I'm a little more real. It's gonna get stuck. You so what you're trying to say is basically I'm an idiot and no. you're saying it in the nicest way no. possible. You're yes, just, you are. Admit it. I am. I'm hopeful. the dumbest person. I am optimistic, especially with the Koenigsegg. For some reason, I thought this car, this car is invincible. This car cannot be beat. <laughs> Take a very strategic approach. I'm not gonna do a three-point maneuver and try to back into the garage. One full power slide because I'm a professional and if we need a little extra persuasion, Sophia will be there to push. You ready? That did not go as planned. No, 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 no. I'm literally... Every morning I wake up and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, you're the dumbest person. And then I pick up my camera and I film it for you guys. Oscar is legit the cutest marshmallow ever. He's also very embarrassed. He's looking down in shame right now. We gotta take him to the groomer appointment so we have to abandon the Koenigsegg. At some point in life, you have to start questioning your intelligence level. We are leaving the Koenigsegg here for quite a while. Off camera, Sophia just made the greatest suggestion. We should get salt tonight. That's a great idea. Imagine if somebody had thought of getting salt. Oh wait, you did earlier. And what did we do? We didn't get it. This is the downfall of my channel today. Today marks the downfall, it does. Multiple cars stuck in the same video. That's the entire video. That was not the plan for the video. Do it, Soph, do it. Do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so good at that? How is she so, you are so good at everything. All the noises. The sound effects, that is like one of your top traits is your ability to do sound effects on the fly. Be good, but okay, you be a good floofy. <laughs> That's my boy. I will admit, over the course of the year that I've lived here, the three cars that have been stuck, the Koenigsegg definitely looks the best. I've also decided I'm making a proclamation today for the rest of 2024, I'm gonna be supremely smarter and I'm gonna make smarter choices and smarter decisions. I'd like to thank my girlfriend Sophia and I'd like to thank Oscar Marshmallow. I am so exhausted right now. I am beat up, I am battered. One counting seg in the garage. My ego took a blow. This is the dumbest video I've ever posted. I'd like to apologize.